Hey guys, we got another one for you. We are revisiting a little bit with the turtles, but specifically this one is about the sea turtle. There's a couple things you need to do that are different. Uh, we really appreciate you guys watching the video on the turtles. I've had a lot of people build them. It seems like you're doing exactly what I hoped. You're forging fun, you're having fun. You turn your imaginations on, found pictures, and you built something that's totally different. Um, <coughs> but we wanted to address the sea turtle. We had some people ask. Uh, it's one of our favorites as far as ones we build. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. So we'll jump right into it with the sea turtle. Our key details is the shell. The sea turtle has a very different shell. It's still a turtle. Like if you get this pretty close with a couple details, everyone's going to be like, oh, it's a turtle. But we want them specifically to see a sea turtle. So the shell is a teardrop. There's a couple things we're going to show you today in the clay and stuff and in the steel where I cut some of the corners of the block for the turtle and it seems to help be able to stretch. The whole point of building them in one piece is to have all the material you need to build the whole thing out of one little block. So that's where we're still at. So you got your shell and your flippers, he doesn't have feet, he's got flippers, he's a sea creature. He has little flippers, with fins in the back, his tail is pretty much under his shell. Uh, he has great big flippers in the front, and whether there's a purpose to it, I don't know, but they, they, their head's kind of always sticking out. Everything I see, their head's sticking out. It's turned off to one side. It's kind of like their rudder when they're swimming. So these are some of the details that I want to meet is shell flippers in the head. Uh, you'll notice right off, the back, the rear end of this turtle is a lot smaller. It's little fins, if you look at the pictures, and the front half is quite a bit larger. So we'll adjust our block as we build it so that we have a lot of more material for the front. We can get bigger fins, longer neck, big head, and the back, we have a little smaller area just adjusting the material. Okay. The last thing I have on my details list is image. Um, I say it all the time, you turn your Google on, find some pictures and things like that. Turn your imagination on, but I want you, just because it's what I do, is I have an image of what I want to make beforehand. My image of a sea turtle is what you see on movies and things like that, where he's got his fins and it's, they push out of the sand. They have kind of an elbow deal and they pull themselves on the sand when they're doing their eggs and stuff. And when they're swimming, they're very powerful swimmers. So get an image. And mine is that. Mine is he's pushed up, he's pushing off the sand, he has his head turned, they got these big eyeballs. They're not. They're very aware of what's around them. And the sea turtle itself is built kind of the, it's the shell is of all turtles is protected. The short little fins are to tuck in. If he had long fins here and, and in the front, he couldn't get everything tucked in for a predator. So just just come up with a good image of what it is before you build it. That hopefully that makes sense. I know I'm kind of a weird dude, but get the image in your head, get your key details. If you knock this shape out and you have these little fins and big fins and a head on here. It's going to be a sea turtle. Anybody hand it to you, show is going to be the car at sea turtle. So, enough of that. Let's go to the block. Uh, we got the block up on the top. It's three quarter inch material, so three quarter by three quarter uh, solid. And if you have watched the other turtle video, you'll understand about building the turtle block. So, you have a half inch to here. This is going to be your shell and a little body line. These are cuts three quarter inch deep from the bottom up, bottom up, leaving around, you know, just under a quarter inch on the sides. It's up to you how thick you want the material on the sides because this whole center is going to be cut out. You'll cut them across, come across, you'll cut the center out, and you'll have this block. These will be the head and the tail, or legs and tail, head and tail, whichever side. But that's your rough dimensions to get you started. 
So we will go over now to the anvil and I'm going to show you in the clay how to take that chunk of clay turn it into that sea turtle which is then going to give you this little guy out of steel. So let's go. Alright, so let me show you where the turtles come from. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, we got the whole gang up here. Took them a while to get here. Another turtle job. But I got the piece of clay. This is our clay. It's that, it's the inch and a quarter, three quarter by three quarter. I'm using a hacksaw blade. This is something you can do. It's winter time, go in your house, take a hacksaw blade, get some clay, go get some. You can sit and cut this. We're, we could build this turtle, you know, 10 times before we ever build it out of steel understand how it unfolds and things like that so if you haven't watched the first turtle video you might want to go check it out but this is going to be very similar but there's just a few little differences and things you can try I hope you're trying something new first thing you do is we're going to cut these legs so if you look in here it's it's about a quarter of an inch I'm not real picky on the Dimensions. I'm going to go down that blade width so I know that's a half inch and I'm going to go just that little bit more not quite that full quarter because I know when we bottom these out like we're going to be pushing a little bit so let's just get it laid out so we're going to go down again on this side the half inch a little bit more now we're going to be coming in with however you got way to cut them just like the other turtle video I'm going to start removing some material. I'm going to come in. I'm going to get this material out of the center so that I have it starting to come out. You can grind or cut this, but you'll be able to get it. If you, if you can build it out of clay, you can build it out of steel. So we have our turtle block, right? Now we're going to put it in the vise. Just like the other turtle video, we'll be fullering these out so they don't split. We'll be working these out, working these out, keeping our shape. Okay, this is where you're going to get to where you got your, this is your turtle block. This is your shell material, legs, legs and head, in this case flippers. Now, we know we're building a sea turtle. So the back end, we want shorter. So you have this, you know you have a half inch of material, but we can actually just trim off a little bit. And you can do this later. We build enough turtles, you can do this a little bit later in your process. But you can also do it now. So now you have short side and long side. This is gonna get you the big flippers and the head that's sticking clear out. This is gonna get you the little flippers and the back. And the little tail is going to be clear under the shell. Here's some of the differences you can do. One, you can cut a little bit off each corner. What it's going to do is allow you to get a rounder shell. A lot of these turtles are coming out with a square shell. But it's okay. You see how these are kind of square? The, the tortoise type ones are very square. It, it works for a shell. But if you want a little more detail, because we're looking for that pumpkin seed teardrop type, you can come and knock these corners off. Just come in, knock the corner off, come in even with the legs, knock that corner off, come in, knock the corner off on these. Like I said, hit this clay, hit the clay, build it a couple of times. I have noticed that now that we have these lines coming in and coming in that that's about where I usually take my legs when I cut in my legs it goes to right there these usually when I'm building a sea turtle they match up pretty good with this dimension stopping right there stopping right there this would be our tail that we would cut out just because I know this is clay, I'm just going to push it over a little bit. So we have our little tail. We have the legs, but we have the shell with a taper to it. 
Now, you can also knock these front ones off, but I would take less material. I would take just a little bit off of the front, and you can play with it. If you have material, you can push it around. If you've already cut it off, you don't have anything to push around. But you can knock these corners off. I would suggest a little in the front, more in the back. When these legs get pushed out, they still match pretty good with the shell. But remember, they don't get pushed out until we get the shell done. So now that we have that, all we need to do is cut our front. So we're going to cut our legs in, right up to those lines again. We're going to cut our leg in. We're going to notch the top. And I hope you guys have come up with a little different process. I hope you we're building it and we're like, you know, that Big John's kind of a spaz. This works better. It probably does. So you're not really like, you're not hurting my feelings or nothing. If you're not having fun forging these, well, you might want to do something else. <laughs> like, <coughs> you should be having fun, forging fun, making a fun project. Uh, these should make you laugh. They should. You should be having some fun. So once you got your turtle to here, you're pretty dang close. You're going to be putting it in the vise, just like the other video. You're going to be just like your tortoise, you know. You're going to be up in here. You're going to squeeze. Let a little heat come out of it. You're going to squeeze. And we're going to be pushing that shell down with the ball pee. But because of the shape it has already with what we've done, you're going to be able to get that teardrop because we moved the material. It has to change shape a little bit. But you need to direct that with your hammer. So be careful when you do it. You can do that at the vise. A lot of it can be done right here, just like all the turtles. You can also, when you're holding on to it, be at your anvil and be in the, any of these type of positions and work on that shell. Get your front round and try and do different things, work different things to get that back. You might work from the center straight to the tail, work the sides down a little. You're gonna get a little different shell, a little different shape for your sea turtle. The shell's important, remember, the lengths of these flippers and the front. The front flippers are big. So just like in that one, you'll be able to get your shell. Now you'll be able to fuller these out, get these out in this stance. I love it when they're sitting in the vise like this with their arms out. They are just praising life. It just cracks me up when they really start looking like a turtle or something that you're building they, they get a little bit of a an attitude of life to them that's fun so these back legs are a little short you will be able to get the front in the vise you'll be able to fuller those out and then it's just easy enough as getting on here with your cross pins and driving these out <laughs> And driving them down and literally you will see in the video my turtle goes flying <laughs> but you will, you'll be able to make these flippers get them all in there and and give this turtle some attitude like push these up push these up let him be trying to get off the beach Maybe some weird kids are throwing rocks at him. Let him get out of there. Like, give him, push that head to the side. Give it a little twist. Give him some, looks like a pile of turtle poop. <laughs> give him a little bit of eyeballs. Give him some character, some attitude. Have fun with that. So, that being said, we'll move now to taking this and making a block. Cutting out a turtle, and we're going to build you that little sea turtle. So let's go. Huh? Remember your safety glasses and tuck in your beard. <laughs>
go ahead and cut this out and cut my block. And we will get building this. Sea turtle. Here's your block. We cut it out of steel. I cut quite a bit. I want these legs to be pretty thin. I want to be able to move them. I don't need a lot of material. I need a length of material. But I don't need a lot of material. So I, I cut the center pretty wide. I bet I got a half inch. Maybe a little more out of the middle. The one side is already shorter. That might come back to bite me a little bit. I could have cut the legs later, but we'll see. Um, this is the first time I've cut them before, so we'll try it. And that, the only reason for that, that's saying it might come back to bite me, is I use the legs to hold this in the vise when I actually spread the legs and head and tail out. So now I have a shorter piece with the shell. Might be a little tricky, but it should work good, so Let's build a turtle. Okay, so now we have what we call our, our turtle block. So we start from here, we'll cut our back flippers, because we're doing a seat turtle, this little tail. Uh, I'm going to cut the uh, front legs and the head, but I've cooled this off. But you can see the length difference. Uh, it is quite a bit of a length difference for a reason. We've got big flippers in the front, the head, and the, but I'm going to cut these. I'm also going to knock the corners off of the top like I showed you in the clay and so we'll get to there. Alright, so we got him cut. Got his head, the legs, back legs, the tail. I messed up a little bit on the tail. As you, you guys will notice in these that they don't have to be perfect. You don't have to machine them out on a mill or something to get these right. You're going to be smashing and pushing and forging with the hammer so get it where you need it and you can still smash it keep it in your mind that it's like play-doh keep smashing keep pushing keep twisting so we got a cut got the notches on the corners off and let's build the shell okay so remember you're going to cinch them down but the legs just in there and this got to be cinched Cinch it, cool a little, cinch it, you're squishing it. Just trying to get that shell to have that sea turtle shape. Okay, all we're doing here is I'm just chiseling in a little bit of detail. Okay, you can come in the sides, just make you some marks. You can go into as much detail as you want. Pull up your pictures, pull up your Google stuff because it has a definite pattern, but it's a little tricky. It's just it's going to take some time. I'm just going to do a little bit of chiseling, just. A little extra look, a little more detail. Okay, so I just I knocked a little detail into the shell. Um, more for sake of time, you could stretch this back a little farther, but I think it's going to come out like I want it. So now we're going to move the flippers out and the head and the legs, like the, all the flippers, and we'll do our final shaping and it'll be Little sea turtle. Okay, so we're going to set him in. Pinch down them back legs. 
tighten them up good. Start opening. more heat and we will use fuller to bottom these out so that they don't start to rip. So we'll go to the fuller. Look how excited that little turtle is to be made. He is praising life. <laughs> He's excited. These things always crack me up right here. Okay, fold these out, pull them tight. Get them bottomed out. Start stretching these legs out. Flippers. Bottom those out hard. Look at that little guy. He is happy to be there. Whoa, almost made him a girl. Okay, we'll go for a little more heat and we'll move his, move his flipper out. Now that I got it fullered, I can stretch it. If you stretch on a cut, it'll rip. So, pull it out and stretch it. Okay, so now we just gotta make him into flippers. Okay, so we're gonna use a cross pin. And stretch his legs out. Flippers, sorry. Stretch his flippers out. Boy, he's kind of tricky to get a hold of. Take his other flipper. Shark attack because it's a sea turtle. But I think that's all I'm going to do on the back ones. Let's see if I can settle them a little bit. Probably should have used the bottom of my hammer. Now, front ones, a little bigger. Again, it's a cross peen. Okay, so I'm going to go to the ball peen and make it a little wider. going to come in and just point them off a little bit, go them back, and we'll Okay, now we're just going to pull them backwards, and we'll 
be pretty dang close. Seaweed out from the river in the ocean. <laughs> Arizona. Arizona sea turtle. Sand turtle. Alright, we got him. And as you saw in the video part, I almost made it a hurt, but okay, there's our little sea turtle. You can see the shape. We got the fins, we got the head. One thing I do want you to notice is how similar it is to what I got out of out of clay. Um, that's what you want. That's what I meant by image. This is what I had in my head. This is the fins holding them up, the head turned to one side, goofy little eyeballs. There's still a lot I could do. Uh, there's always a lot you can do. Especially in these, I'm trying to get a video out for you that you can build that little sea turtle. Got a big seed turtle, one inch block makes one just a little bigger. So we got this style like a tortoise. We got this style that is definitely a seed turtle. Yurtle approves. Hope you guys like it. Let Mary take a few shots from the but we sure appreciate you guys watching. Uh, subscribing. Hopefully this earns your subscription. Just Giving you something fun to forge. Turn your imagination on. Forge you a turtle. Forge you a sea turtle. You could do the loggerhead turtle. You could cut things into shells. Um, have some fun with it. Forge some fun. Have fun. Hope you get out into your shop. And uh, till the next one, let's go. Cool.